Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives with a review of the Buckshot Heavy Duty Camp Axe. Right, but it's really a mini hatchet. The total length is 11 inches. It's, it's very solid one piece construction. It is very budget priced as well. The lowest price I found for it was $14 plus your shipping. So I will include the uh, Amazon link if you want to pick one up. I've done a lot with this uh, mini hatchet. I've tested it out in addition to uh, splitting a lot of wood, chopping a lot of wood. I've also thrown it a couple hundred times, which is always rough on, you know, sometimes uh, stuff will just break, you know, it bounces off the target. But this, this is still alive and kicking. All right, you see it has a hammer surface on the back. I always find that useful. I did sharpen it. I sharpened it with a work sharp and you know you can customize the edge any way you want it does come with a, a broad edge All right, that's a piece of dirt on the edge by the way that's not a nick you see the um, how thick it is there but yeah I mean if you want to make it a super thin edge or a super broad you know it comes with a broad edge and that's very good for splitting it's an extremely strong edge you know the way it comes I sharpened it a little because I was also doing some carving with it so here is the sheath it's a plastic sheath right and it has a belt loop there and uh, some eyelets it snaps open Ah, uh, yes ever professional nice nice hitting the camera there we all juggle knives alright so that's the sheath that you get so this is very compact here it is with a, with a size comparison with the SOG Fasthawk and it makes the SOG Fast Hawk look like a full sized hawk, but you guys know how short the Fast Hawk is. This is even a few inches shorter than the Fast Hawk. However, because it's a hatchet and not a tomahawk, it's heavier, it's more top heavy, you have a lot more edge length to work with. And here's another comparison with an S Wing uh, Camp Axe, sometimes called their Sportsman's Axe or Camp Hatchet. Now, Estwing does not make uh, a hatchet that is as small as this Buckshot axe, but if they did, I feel like they would have designed it like this. And that's a compliment. You know, Estwing's known for durability. So you see, this is a similar one-piece construction, similar budget price, right? So it's kind of like an honorary Estwing to me. And again, that is a compliment. All right, at this time I'm going to roll in a little highlight reel of the demo footage. And you're also going to see my new anti-cut gloves that I'm testing out. They're made of like a Kevlar-like material. Okay, so I might do a whole future video on the anti-cut gloves. Now I've sped up this footage because, you know, I'm not trying to keep you here for an hour watching a whole bunch of wood splitting, but I wanted you to see some of what it does. All right, so you can split some uh, fairly large pieces of firewood. All right, you might have to smash it through like that, but yeah, it has a really good broad edge for splitting. That had a knot in it. I just had to beat that one into submission, right? But the point is, yeah, it's a nice little uh, mini splitter. You know, a lot of the reviews for this were from backpackers. Just a very handy little item. So here I am carving your typical uh, anti-vampire weapon, typical stake. Now this doesn't carve quite as well as a, a knife would because the broad, the broad uh, edge doesn't bite in as deeply. Of course, you could make the edge as thin as you want. It's just a trade-off between splitting ability and uh, deep uh, chopping or slicing, right? Most people will carry a knife in addition to a hatchet. All right, so there I am uh, making the anti-vampire item. I suppose it could have other uses besides vampires, but there it is, a nice uh, pointy piece of wood. So you definitely can carve with it, right? If you had to carve a piece of a trap or something. All right, demonstrating the hammer end. I always find the hammer end to be uh, more useful than a back spike usually. But yeah, hammering in my little stake that I made. Alright, chopping into a piece of a log. So it's not meant for something of this diameter. 
but the point is if you absolutely had to, you could eventually work your way through a very large piece of wood. You know, it's not like a four pound head axe or anything, but if it's all you had, right? If it's all you had, you could work your way through whatever you need to. You could woodpecker your way through like that. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. So my final conclusions on the buckshot axe, or mini hatchet as I call it, extremely use useful, extremely convenient, very packable, you know, shorter than the fast hawk, but with a lot more chopping power. And the price, $14 and some uh, shipping, that is a bargain. I've already gotten more use out of it than the cost of it. The edge is very broad, very durable, good for splitting, right? And you can thin it out to whatever you prefer. I've even thrown this, and it was very fun to throw. That's going to be a whole separate video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.